All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to today's blogs. I'm here to give you my previews for the Big Ten Conference for the 2015 college football season. And I'm going to start things off with the fight in the line nine of Illinois. Now, last season they went six and seven overall, losing in the heart of Dallas Bowl against Louisiana Tech. Now, this is the third season for head coach Tim Beckham, and he needs to do a better job and hopefully get this team back into bowls on the contention and and come off with a winning season overall. Now, they actually going to have to play without Mike Dudek, who actually was their leading receiver last season as a freshman because he torn his ACL during a non-contract drill, drill during this offseason, and he's going to be out for this entire year, which is a tough blow, which means Geronimo Allison will have to be the leader in the receiving core for the fight in the line nine. Now, Wes Lunt is entering his second season at quarterback. He's six foot five, two 225 pounds. Now, last season, he passed for 1,763 yards and 14 touchdowns to just three interceptions, and he did miss five games. I think with a fully healthy season, this team can definitely get back into bowl contention. Now, some impact players on the defensive side, they actually had three honorable mentions in the Big Ten Conference, um, and the defensive lineman Jahid Ward, as well as cornerbacks Viangelo um, Betson, as well as Mason Monhume. I think this is a de decent um, um, cornerback tandem between these two players. I think this defense could prop this, this could be a little bit of a sleeper in the Big Ten Conference, but I'm not actually calling them my official sleeper for 2015. Last season, that defense allowed 34 points per game. They need to do a much better job. Now, they're their top three recruits entering this season, they only have one four-star um, um, recruit and the number 20 offensive tackle and Gabe Magnuson. He's five, six foot five, 290 pounds. They also picked up the number 29 um, um, quarterback and Jimmy Fitzgerald and the number 37 cornerback and Frank Sumter the fifth. I think this is a decent player out of Bedford, Ohio. Now, overall this season, I think they're going to go six and six again like they did at the end of last season, making it to become bowl eligible. I don't think they're going to get much worse or much better. I have to go 50-50 on this one. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes. I have 13 more blogs for you for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keenan McCall. Be easy.